Divided Goods Once there was a man named Fahmi who was religiously considerate with his actions. He had his own restaurant and served all kinds of meat. As a cause of his delicious food, his restaurant would be crowded every day. One day, one of his workers left without leaving notice to open his own restaurant nearby with the intention to narrow the blessings on Al-Hajj Fahmi. Fahmi didn't get angry at all, as he even sent some of his customers to him as he didn't have enough food for them. However, that worker wasn't done. He spread out word that Al-Hajj's restaurant's meat was corrupted. When Al-Hajj Fahmi got to know... He got upset and sick. He closed his restaurant till he got better. The worker was surprised for not having customers for two full weeks. He figured out that he had customers only because of Al-Hajj Fahmi, so he got upset and shut down his own restaurant. But his father, who was friends with Al-Hajj Fahmi, said to him, You thought wrong that by cutting off someone's blessings will help you get more. No, son. All blessings are in Allah's hands and judgment. You just cut off someone's blessings who was the reason for your blessings when you didn't even know. I'm going to tell you a true story from back in 1958. In that year, the Chinese commander ordered his people to kill all brown birds as those kinds ate their crops. Indeed, all the farmers started killing thousands and thousands of birds. Whoever killed the most out of the birds was rewarded and treated like a champion. Later on, locusts started spreading as those birds were the only ones to feed on them. It ruined all the crops around the country which caused the starvation of China in 1961. It led to the death of 15 million people from hunger. Allah created this world in a balanced way that no mind can comprehend. Son, you should go to Al-Hajj Fahmi and apologize and make sure it comes from an honest feeling of guilt of lying to ruin the man's life. That made sure of what the Prophet said and a man may be deprived of provision by a sin that he commits. The son started crying a lot and asked Allah for forgiveness and repentance. Then he went to Al-Hajj Fahmi and kissed his hands asking for forgiveness. Fami was really happy and forgave him. When he felt better, he went back to his restaurant again and kept his worker in many different ways. وَقُلْ اعْمَلُوا فَسَيَرَ اللَّهُ عَمَلَكُمْ وَرَسُولُهُ وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ وَسَتُرَدُّونَ إِلَى عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَةِ فَيُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ